Mm -hmm. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi. I welcome you to this channel. This is Never Age TV. <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, you're welcome to this family. The family where we discuss the issues of life. And uh, if you are returning viewer or subscriber, welcome. It's always good to work together in this family. So please like and subscribe, guys. We agreed that we are going to support each other. And we are supporting each other with a subscription. If you could just hit that subscribe button, you have supported this channel where we discuss families and uh, issues of, of life. And uh, supporting this channel is a, is a blessing. You'll be blessed. And that's why I'm here doing this video because you have motivated me just by watching my videos, guys. I feel so encouraged because there are so many videos out there but you have chosen to watch mine and I'm thanking you because this is never age TV we discuss issues of life I feel like I'm discussing already with you guys is there dust here I mean this white jacket of mine and I don't want it to to cut dust so guys um, discussing the issues of life and uh, I'm here discussing <laughs> a very interesting topic here guys you will love you will love at this friend at this friend of mine who was one time very very broke and she's a housewife guys you know when you're a housewife you don't have much money and uh, sometimes there's a kitchen budget that you try to save on so that you can access some little balance to, to do a bit of shopping for yourself because sometimes, not sometimes, it's always that you, you live on hard out. You don't have enough and your partner may be just living enough for the family and you are there. You also have personal needs. Sometimes you ask him and he tells you he doesn't have, you cannot fight. Sometimes he gives you little, you don't have enough. Sometimes he also doesn't have, we are all human, and you don't have to be rough and tough on somebody. Because when they do have, they give. Uh, but this particular time, my friend tells me she really was going through a situation and she needed money. And uh, the money that was left by, by the husband who had gone on safari was not enough for her needs. And uh, she had two small babies and um, was surviving through thick and thin. You know, there are times your partner goes down financially and is, is weighed down by situations of life. You don't have to kill him, guys. You need him for tomorrow. So when he says he doesn't have, you just have to take it from him. Because what will you do? He says he doesn't have. You are grown up. You are a grown up, and um, he is a grown up. He tells you he doesn't have. Are you going to kill him? So this lady tells me uh, she noticed some uh, weird behavior with the husband a few days earlier, and uh, he was not receiving the money that he's supposed to leave in the house. Uh, he was uh, kind of uh, became, becoming evasive all the time with money. And uh, he did not even want to spend uh, time with the family. And uh, this particular time, she tells me that she suspected uh, the husband had money. But uh, uh, as usual, he, 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 when, when leaving the, the portion that he leaves for the day, he, he made sure that he left very little. And uh, when the lady noticed that he was going on safari and asked, are you living for the four days that you normally live in a month? And uh, is this the amount of money that you're living with? And the husband said, okay, this is all I have. And uh, take it or leave it, that's all that I'm going to live, to live with you, uh, for you and for the children. Very little, guys. So the lady was like, uh, okay, um, I'm going to do the packing for him and I'll make sure 
but I check in his wallet when he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Guys, I found it very weird. Ah, how do you go opening somebody's wallet? Guys, ladies, don't do that. Imagine if somebody comes and catches you doing that. Do you know once trust is lost, it goes forever. Don't you ever try to lose everything but don't lose trust. Because the minute you lose trust, you'll never get it, guys. It goes and goes forever. So, <laughs> the planes as usual. Planes, planes. They just want for me to come and shoot them. And a video I mean. So, guys, <laughs> don't you ever lose trust. Because once trust is lost, you have lost everything. My friend waited for the husband to enter the shower. And she wants... She went checking on the wallet. Guys, do you know? <laughs> Let me also tell you something. If you wanted to trap somebody, there are so many ways of trapping somebody. Somebody can even tell you, okay, I don't have this and that. And he knows that he has it. But because he knows you and he has lived with you for long, he knows how you react to issues. He almost has read your mind very well. And you may not know. So he knows when I tell her this, she's going to react this way. And I know her so, so well. So this is what is going to go through her mind. So I think this husband had known that the minute I tell my wife that I don't have enough, and I'll be living for four days, and I'm leaving her with a person for only one day, she's going to want to know how come I don't have and I'm going on safari. So she's going to come and check on my wallet. So what the man did is <laughs> he left the wallet there and entered the bathroom. And it was making the bed annoyed in some way because uh, money had already been allocated to her for that season of time. And guys, what they really didn't know is that this man had set had set a matchstick, matchstick in his wallet in a way that he has put it in that wallet in a way that the minute you touch your wallet like this, he's gonna know that you have touched his wallet. So there was a way he had set a matchstick inside uh, the wallet. And uh, the lady just goes and uh, finds out now the water is pouring. Then we go now and open the wallet. Wah! On opening the wallet, she checked and found, you know, that it, since the man was trapping her, there was money in the wallet. Notes and notes of money. And you know, this guy had, had told the wife, this is all I have. I don't have enough. Hey, the lady found the money. So, she knew the husband would come out of the bathroom, dress, pick the bag that the lady was packing, and leave. But the, the man came out of the bathroom, <laughs> counted his money, <laughs> checked on the matchstick, and realized it was, it had fallen down there. Because you know the lady just picked the wallet, opened up, counted the money, and you know what? The lady removed some extra, some little money, extra more money from the wallet and closed it and kept it clean. What? That is the worst mistake you can ever do in life. Don't you ever try to do that. Because once trust is soiled, once it is lost, you can never regain it, guys. So, <laughs> um, she went downstairs and the man came, uh, dressed and came down now with the, with the, with the with the jacket ready to leave and you know what uh, she, when he came downstairs he, he said okay i decided to leave you some more money because there's money that i i, I remembered i was uh, given by uh, a friend to go and buy him something and i think we had better use it i had better leave it with you so that when i go I'll not spend it because this item he wants me to buy, you can even source it for him here. In fact, uh, I want you to go to that place where they sell furniture. And you remember where we bought that cabinet of ours? You remember that one that we, we, we the one that we, we, we use for our, for our stationery? Just go to exactly like ours. You know, when he came here, he saw ours, and I told him we had got it at this much, at this amount. Uh, I want you to do this. this uh, I want you to leave, I want to leave you with this money that uh, my friend Frank uh, gave me. Go to that uh, uh, furniture shop. That cabinet with a with a mirror. Uh, you remember he, he sold this. He sold it at at, at twelve thousand. 
just go and uh, buy it and um, as Frank will come and pick it up uh, while, while I'm away. In fact, here is his money uh, that he just he gave me uh, last, last night. Let me give it to you. So the, lead, the man opens the wallet in front of the lady and the lady was freaking cold. Started counting the notes, counted, and the lady had removed a whole 4,000 shillings from the 12,000 shillings that was, was in the wallet. And uh, he was like, what? What is, what has happened here? I counted this money in the morning before I, I even uh, went to the bathroom and it was there. All the 12,000 shillings that Frank gave me last night. And Frank gave me this money at the entrance of this, this uh, uh, estate when we met there. Uh, and from there I just came in here, slept and in the morning after I checked my wallet, his money was still intact. How come this money has just disappeared the minute I went the bathroom? Guys, do you know there are some, some situations that you cannot, you cannot pluck yourself from? You have put yourself in that situation and it is shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. It is only you who can remove yourself from that situation because now you have sold the trust. Your husband will never trust you again. How, why, why did you steal? Why did you steal? So my friend was telling me now, you know, this has spoiled everything in my marriage. In fact, my, my habit doesn't want anything to do with me at all, at all. He calls me a thief and I had to slowly go and give him back his money uh, because it was somebody else's money and what a shame it was for me to go and pull out the money from where I had hidden and give it back to him. And I was so ashamed. And now our relationship has been soiled completely. Serves you right. Serves you right. Don't you ever do that. Let me tell you, even if he had left you with that detour that he had given you, you'd still have survived. God has ways of, of, of sending his angels to you. Even in his absence, God can send an angel and he comes and brings you a lot of money. Because he's God. And uh, the Bible tells us that silver and gold is all his. Cut on a thousand years belongs to you. So he would have known. Here I am. Here, here is she. She is with her children. She doesn't have enough, she's suffering, and God would still have done something to you through, through his, 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 his powers. He's a, he's a powerful God, he's a mighty God. He knows your case even before somebody takes care of it. He takes care of you. So guys, it was a shame. My, my friend regretted so much taking that money without uh, the husband's consent. And I told her, never again should you try to do that. So guys, have you ever tried to do that yourself? I should advise that, I will advise that you should never, ever, ever, ever take somebody's thing without permission. Don't you ever touch it without permission. It is not yours, it is his. If he gives you from his willing heart, it's okay. If he doesn't give you, just take it the way it comes. Leave it like that. You can never die. You do know you can never die. However, because even if you are left with nothing, you still cannot die. Your children cannot go and God will make a way for you. So guys, <laughs> let's never soil uh, the trust that we have with our partners and let's never take that which is not ours. There is a curse in taking that which is not yours. Imagine if it was yours which was taken and you go to a bathroom, you come, you find somebody has taken. Do you also put yourself in, in somebody's shoes? Imagine if it is you who goes to the bathroom and then you come and find that your partner has taken something from you. Because it is not only him who can get money. You can also have money. You can also have money and you put it in your handbag. And then you go to the bathroom, you come and find somebody has plucked some money from there. What would you feel? I don't think it is right. Don't you do something that you wouldn't want done unto you. Don't you ever do that. Because you kick away your blessings for tomorrow. So guys. Please like and subscribe to this channel as we always say, liking and subscribing. But now I'm insisting and requesting and begging, begging you guys to please subscribe. I'm begging you to please subscribe. Don't go to the next video. Be not subscribing, please. Just subscribe. I was checking on my uh, algorithms, analytics on YouTube and I found out that 90% of the people that watch my YouTube channels uh, videos have not subscribed. They just watch and go. They watch and wait for the next video, they watch and wait for the next video, they watch but they don't know 
It's that they don't know. It's just that they don't know that because I've never told them. It's just, just that they don't know that they're supposed to subscribe. And it's my fault because I've never told you guys to subscribe. So guys, I'm here begging you, please subscribe. You see that button there? Read and subscribe? Just touch it like this. Touch it like that. Just subscribe. Don't go to the next video without subscribing. And guys, you have helped the channel. You have helped me. So guys, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.